Yep, I was faking it this entire time and I'll probably still continue to fake it going forward because it works so dang well. Let me tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Everything that I have in my life now, I once didn't have. Probably same goes for you. There's a lot of things in your life that you have now that you once didn't have. And faking it before you make it, it really does work. And let me, let me explain, I'll tell you a few different stories of how this has worked for me. So when I was 18 years old, I really wanted to leave Canada and live in the tropics. Like I wanted to live in Hawaii, I wanted to live in Panama, I wanted to live in Costa Rica, I wanted to live in Thailand, I wanted to live in Bali. And I had no idea how to go to these countries. I had no idea how to afford a lifestyle in these countries. I had no idea how to afford the plane ticket or how to get away from a nine to five job and have that kind of luxury life living in the tropics. So what I would do is every summer, I'd walk around with my shirt off, just wearing my shorts, and I would just start faking being in the tropics. I was like, this is what it feels like to be in the tropics. This is what that sun feels like to be in the tropics. And then eventually, I went to Bali, and then Thailand, and then Hawaii, and then Panama, and Costa Rica, and I just started making that a part of my life once I figured out how to do it. But first, I, I faked it. First, I pretended I was in the tropics before I ever was. Then when I was in the tropics, I needed a way to make money. And so what I started doing is I started pretending to make money online. I started to pretend what it would feel like to make money online. So every time I open up my laptop, I pretend opening it up and I pretend I would start seeing sales come in. And I'd be like, wow, that's what that feels like. That feels pretty damn good. So I started to familiarize myself with the feeling of making money online. I started to embody that feeling of making money online. And I didn't know how to do it. All I knew was that I wanted to do it. So I would just fake it. I would just pretend well, this is what it feels like. And then eventually, because I, I held that feeling for so long, I started taking actions that the people who make money online take. And when you take the actions that other people take, you get the same results that they get usually in, or in some way, shape or form. So I started making money online. And then I really want, it wasn't that much money. It was like enough to afford rent in Thailand. It was like uh, 2,500 bucks a month. And then I started to embody the feeling of making more money and, and being able to afford more things in life. And I started making like five grand a month. And then Things started going from there, and then I really wanted to know what it felt like to have my own festival. So I started going to all these different festivals around the world. One in New York, a festival in the UK, a festival in Denmark, a festival in uh, even Thailand, a festival in... Um, there was another festival. I can't remember right now. But festivals around the world. And then I, I was like, okay, I want my own festival just like this. And then eventually I had my own festival. And I, when I was at these festivals, by the way, I was walking around pretending that this was my festival. I was walking around like feeling what this would, that what it would feel like to have my own festival. And eventually I had my own freaking festival. And the same goes for all the things I've gotten in my life, including my car. Like I walked up to my piece of crap car, which at the time was a, a, a Ford Escort, like a 97 Ford Escort, piece of crap car, but I loved it because I treated it like a Tesla and I acted as if it was a Tesla. Every time I walked up to it, I was like, this is my Tesla, this is my Tesla. This is what the door handle feels like. This is what the steering wheel feels like. This is what the acceleration feels like. This is what the seats feel like. This is what the brake feels like. This is what the ignition feels like. And I would, even though Tesla doesn't have freaking ignition or anything like that, it's just a freaking battery, but I would pretend that my car was a Tesla. I would just fake it. I would just fake it. I would fake it. I would fake it. And then when I went test driving, I would pretend I would fake it. I would be like, that's my car. And I was, as I'm driving a Tesla, I'm like, see, this is my car. And this is all internal, by the way. I'm not like outwardly faking it and telling everyone that these things are, are real. I'm just internally faking it. So just make sure I'm clear on that. Um, and every time I was in the parking lot and I'd see a nice car like a Tesla, or specifically a Tesla, I should say, I'd walk up to it and I'd walk right for it. And then right last minute, because I would want, as I'm walking up to it, I'm like, this is what it feels like to walk up to my Tesla. And as soon as I get there, boom, I, I dart and I go up to my actual car. But I always wanted to know what that felt like to walk up to a Tesla and feel like it's my own. So I would fake it. Again, internally, just, just act as if. Act as if. And then eventually got the Tesla. And this, this happened across the board, like with so many things in my life. I just gave you a few examples, but this even happened with like my dream girl in high school. Like the reason I was able to date my dream girl and even lose my virginity to my absolute dream girl was because I, I pretended, like I just faked it in my head. I pretended that like we were already together. We were already together. I just kept going to bed with that feeling, waking up with that feeling. And the reason I want to make this video for you is because you might be trying really hard in the outside world, trying to make things happen. And you maybe, try, you maybe feel like you're swimming upstream kind of, you feel like you're maybe going against the grain of, of the flow and you're just struggling really hard to make things happen without putting much attention on the feeling of already having, uh, the, the feeling of already having it. What's really cool is if you're struggling to, to do stuff in the real world, you're feeling like you're struggling. But if you're struggling to make things happen in the real world, but you're feeling like you already have them, then it doesn't feel like a struggle at all. 
It just feels like you're doing what's required to get the thing that you want to get. So instead of struggling, instead of pushing hard, instead of like going up against a lot of resistance in life, just feel like you already have the thing. Get familiar with that feeling and learn to embody the feeling of already having the thing that you want to have. And that's going to make it come into your life so much faster. At least that's how it's worked for me. And that's how it's worked for all the teachers and mentors that I've learned from over the years. They say that the the longer you hold the feeling, or the more frequently you hold the feeling, and the more real that feeling becomes for you, the faster you can will it into being. So just want to make this video for you here today, let you know that I've been faking it this whole time, and I'm going to continue to fake it going forward. Everything I want to accomplish in my life, I'm going to just feel what it feels like to already have that thing now, to already be doing that thing now. And uh, I'm just going to keep doing it because it's worked really, really, really well for me in the past. It's fun. It's a fun process. Even if I'm not getting results in the outside world, at least it feels like I'm getting results on the inside world. And that's all that really matters anyway. And then paradoxically, once you've been feeling like you already have the results for so long, you eventually get the results. But by that point, you're, it's like, well, of course, because I've been feeling this way for so long. It's same when I was... I use the same technique as in triathlon. Like before I'd ever done a single triathlon, before I'd ever done a single triathlon, I knew I was going to race professionally. I was like, I'm a, I'm a professional triathlete. I'm a professional triathlete. I'm a professional triathlete. That was my mantra for so many years. I am a professional triathlete. I get paid to race triathlon. And then eventually, right near the end, right when I, right before I quit, I raced pro. I raced two races as a professional in Thailand. I even got prize money and... I quit. I'm like, I'm good. I don't I want out of this competitive space. But I made that dream a reality for myself just by holding that feeling and faking it for so long. Every time I was in training, I pretended what it feels like to be a professional triathlete. Every time I was going to bed, every time I wake up, I just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. So that's the secret for today. Feel it. That's it. Peace out. Much love. Adios. And uh, if you want a, a practical step-by-step -step way of taking what you know and turning it into an online course, a profitable online course like I've done for myself. I'll just show you how exactly, how, how I've done it, how I've done it for other students as well. Link is in the description of this video, tedcarclass.com. Check it out and uh, you'll see exactly how I'm making money online with online courses. But um, you can use the same technique for eBooks and coaching and masterminds and virtual events, whatever you want to do. So check it out. Peace out. Much love. Link in description. Bye.